Well, if it isn't my old friend. Been a while, eh? Stros Mackay, remember? Uh, no. No, I jumped out. Say, I know this is a little sudden, but are you looking to make a bit of gold? Meet me at the Sugar Bowl here in Remen. Got some business that might interest you. Talk soon. Jakar, get back here, you sneaky car! You there! Did you see a puny Breton run this way? Answer, Akan! The Khajiit will rip out your mewling throat if you do not answer. Now, this one will ask just one more time. Did you see a scrawny Breton running away from this building? Yes or no? Useless shaveskin. We'll never catch him now. Listen well, Clawless. If the guards ask about Akan or Eljhan, you will say nothing. Breathe one word of this and the wrath of Tuheba will find you. Eljhan, we go! Hey there, good looking. I hope Akon and Eljan didn't give you too much trouble. They're both wanted by the city guards, so I doubt we'll be seeing them in a reputable establishment like this. Now, ready to make more gold than you've ever seen? Job simple. I need you to search Rimmon's sewers for a barrel hidden near an altar to Clavicus Vile. Under the lid, you'll find a note that lays out Tuheba's current whereabouts. She's the crime boss here and elsewhere. Kind of a big deal. You talk to her. Typically, I'd lay on the charm personally, but Tuheba and I aren't on great terms at the moment. I need you to smooth things over. She has my friend, see? Fezkar. She'll probably give him up if the price is right. Nothing so romantic. Think of it as a down payment on some valuable information. See, Tuheba hired Fez and I to steal a gem called the Jewel of Bondar for her. Fez stashed it away, but didn't tell me where. We get Fez, we get the gem. Simple. Jumped. I jumped out. But sure, bit of a tail there. Akon and Eljan, those two charmers you met in the alley, work for Tuheba. They thought I might know where Fez hid the jewels, so they tied me up and worked me over for a while. Right. I tried to tell them they were wasting their time, but you know how thugs are. Anyway, the gangly one, Eljan, is moon-touched. Nice way of saying he's a half-mad sugar fiend. I had some moon sugar in my pocket, as you do, and he found it. He went berserk. Little rascal started climbing the walls. And I mean literally climbing, like a cat up a tree. While Akon was busy prying Eljan off the ceiling, I slipped my bonds and went out the window. Easy as sneaking past a moth priest. It's an opal the size of a fist. Never seen anything like it. Unfortunately, it's got some religious significance. That always complicates things. The jewel is a tribute to Bondar, the trickster god. Most every cut person elsewhere prays to him. Actually, she hired us to steal it back. The Araxian snatched it up when that Tharn woman took over Rimen. So, really, we were just helping the downtrodden thieves and footpads of elsewhere. Heroic, right? Once we found out how valuable it was, Fez demanded twice the price that Tuheba had promised us. Bad idea, but Fez doesn't really do savvy, you know? Knowing she might take things poorly, he hid the jewel. The rest is very uncomfortable history. And in a sewer, no less, right? Fair question. I know a Khajiit, Naruz. We spent some time together. Very brief, but very intense. 
Anyway, he works for Tuheba, and so he's in the know. I called in a favor, and this is the result. Naruz is a little anxious. Always thinks someone's watching him, you know? Honestly, I can't explain it. Even when we were together, he'd insist we meet up in old abandoned barns and musty basements. Exciting at first, but it got old quick. Trust me, friend. My talents will do us much more good here. Tuheba's gonna want a fair amount of coin for Fezgar's release, especially now that I slipped out of her claws. While you get her location, I'll get the gold we need. Not steal. Gamble. Well, all right, sometimes that's the same as stealing when I'm involved, but only because I'm very, very good. Full disclosure, we may need to make a swift exit, depending on how well I do here. It'll probably be fine. Probably.
Ooh, so close. Better luck next time, friend. Hey, you're back. I was just wrapping up my business with these fine Khajiit. Did you find the note? Where's Tuheba? Huh. Makes sense. We hit the Uraxian treasure caravan just outside Riverhold. She'd want to be as far away from there as possible. Good. Darkpool Mind is in southwestern elsewhere. Tuheba favors the wilderness, so you may have to search a bit. What can I say? What I lack in charm, I make up for in luck. This gold should more than pay for Fez's release. I'm trusting you to deliver it. You could keep it, sure, but this is pocket change compared to what we'll make on the jewel. Once I settle my accounts with these folks, I'll make my way to the mine. Don't worry about finding me. I'll find you. As for Tuheba, show respect, but stand your ground. She appreciates a little swagger. Just don't overthink it and you'll be fine. All right, cats and kittens. Like my Uncle Edmund always says, best walk while you're ahead. You have yourselves a great night, huh? Aye, not so soon, Pinkskin. You have yet to play thy beast. Look, it's been a real pleasure playing with you, but I got a friend waiting on me. How about we pick things up tomorrow, huh? Double or nothing? Well, you will at least let Ibiza and Cherjad walk you home, yes? The streets of Rimen are no place for a lone Breton with heavy pockets. You know, that's a generous offer, and I'm truly flattered. But you really don't need to worry. I'm spry as a cricket. Pockets light, pockets heavy, whatever. Enough! Sit, now! Do not take us for fools, Japan. Gifted by the moons as they wax and wane. Fill our bowls and fill our souls, sweet moon sugar cane. Sweet moon sugar cane. Sweet moon sugar cane. I recently traveled past safety. Two Moons Temple. Yeah. I hate Get to him. say it, but I think the monks there have gone mad. What makes you say that? Uh, they busy. said they were Find chasing butterflies, but us. I couldn't see any. They were chasing nothing. It was bizarre and, well, unsettling to see them behave so. You saw nothing? Oh, you! I saw you speaking with that shave skin before he fled. Where did he go? Where is Jakarn hiding? Naturally, Jakarn's bosom friend does not see where Jakarn goes. Bah, you outsiders are worse than the Nahatan flu. We will find your cheating friend eventually, Dungwalker. Count on it! Besides the cards that fluttered from his pocket as he ran out the door, you mean? Dibiza knows a cheat when she sees one. And in elsewhere, cheaters do not pay their debts in gold. They pay in fingers. Keep that in mind, Jeek.
Is what Akan says true? Do you find common cause with the Breton Jakar? I should warn you. People who travel with Jakarn rarely meet pleasant ends. Ha! A ransom, is it? And why would anyone pay gold for that foolish backstabber? Ah, let me guess. Jakarn believes Fetzkar will lead you to the Jewel of Bandar if you free him. Because they are friends, yes? Adorable. <laughs> you are direct. Good. I will be direct also. Give me this ransom of yours. If it is a fragrant sum, I will tell you where to find Fesgar. Beyond that, I offer nothing. Now, shall we do business, or shall I tell Akan and Eljon to remove you? Fesgar would not give up the gem, so we sold them to a slave trader. The slaver died, but his ledger should contain the name of Fesgar's new owner. Look for it in Darkpool Mine. What is that look? You paid for information, I provided it. Go now. I would be careful in Darkpool Mine, sweet meat. Soft-headed cultists took it over shortly after we sold your friend. That is how the slave trader died. The cultists tug on Maroon's tail, in hopes he will scratch their bellies. Pathetic. No, we could not. This troubles me, because I take great pride in my creativity. People always speak, eventually. But something sealed his lips tight as a drum. Something more than simple force of will. A small-time cut purse withstands hours of aggressive interrogation, then suffers enslavement to protect his prize? A simple gem? No, this does not add up. That jewel has buried its claws in your friend. I do not know how or why, but it has. I did not, but I do now. This will not stop me from claiming it eventually, though. Charms like this only work on weak minds. My mind is far from weak. Mind your tone. Akkad loves cutting out self-righteous tongues. You are an outsider, so I will assume you speak from ignorance. Bandar rewards the clever and frowns on the clumsy. Fezkar, despite his charms, was clumsy. There you are, spoken like a true child of Bandar. Fezgar and I made a bargain in good faith. Fezgar reneged on that bargain in the dull-witted fashion that is his trademark. His clumsiness and dishonesty made him a slave, not me. From what Akan tells me, Jakarn did not know Fezgar betrayed us. Good news for Jakarn, yes. Return my gem, and I will consider showing your clever friend some leniency. I make no promises, though.
You return. Lightly singed, but no worse for the wear, huh? Why do you come back to me? You have what you seek, yes? So it is encoded. What do you want me to do about it? Can you believe the tongue on this one, Bihargo? Oh, you have not been introduced yet. Bihargo is my sench brother. He eats people for me. 
So serious. I respect your bullheaded insistence, even if it smacks of disrespect. Give it here! Hmm. It seems Fesgar is as poor a miner as he is a thief. They sold him to another batch of slavers based in the Tangle, an overgrown cavern that Ruddy Fang bandits use as a base. So there, our business is concluded, yes? Off with you. Well, that looked promising. Any conversation with a crime boss you can walk away from, right? So, where's Fez? Did she cut him loose? And she took the gold anyway? For one measly piece of information? <sighs> Classic to Hava. So the Tangle, huh? I know the place. Those ruddy fang bandits are idiots. So getting Fez out of there shouldn't be a problem. Of course, we have to find him first. For strapping heroes like us? Of course not. If these outlaws are half as lazy as Bosek's henchmen and Stros Mackay, and they are, they probably keep their slaves close to the entrance. Easier to move them in and out, and easier for us to spring. That's fair. What do you want to know? Can't I want to free him and want the jewel? Look, Fez and I have double-crossed each other more times than we can count, but only over gold. When it comes to life and death, we help each other. Actually, a double cross is how Fez and I first met. Both. Great thieves think alike, right? We met years ago, in Sentinel. I was taking an inventory of a local merchant ship's valuables when I stumbled across a cat doing the same. That was Fez. After a debate, we agreed to split the loot. He slipped past me and flagged down a guard on the way out. Would have landed me in jail if that guard hadn't been the same one I bribed to get on the ship. The guard arrested Fez instead, and we split his loot. <laughs> Still, I had to respect the effort. Why? Plenty of reasons. Take your pick. First, the heaps of gold people will pay us to acquire it. Second, it's a Khajiit cultural treasure, and it's always nice to return a cultural treasure, right? Makes you feel all warm and heroic inside. That's the plan. Those bandits in the Tangle probably threw Fez in a cage somewhere, so all we have to do is find him. And hope they haven't killed him. That'd be unfortunate. questions before we leap into this slippery hedge maze? Once we get inside, we'll cover more ground if we split up. Don't get too concerned if you don't see me around. Think of me as your loyal, rakishly handsome shadow. As for any rough stuff with the bandits, I'll leave that to you. There he is. Boy, this is creative. No, stay back. Don't touch me. What's the matter? The giant spike trap under Fesgar's feet. It could impale Fez at any moment. Not by choice. The ruddy fang trappers forced Fez onto this plate. They play this game with new slaves to break their spirits and teach them to listen. If Fezgar steps off this plate, he becomes a Fez kebab. Fez does not want to be a Fez kebab. 
You and Jakarn come to free Fezgar? Bright moons, yes, free me. But to disarm the plate, you pull the chain over there. But you need a key to unlock it. Look for a chest deeper in the tangle. I know they keep the key inside it. Please, hurry! I'll keep watch here, in case any guards wander by. You see if you can find the key he's talking about. Deal? Sugar Slinger the other day. Nothing I hate more than a stuck-up smuggler.
Zephez, there's our friend, right on time. There you are. Did you find the key? Fezgar's fur falls out from all this stress. Bandar be praised! Slide the key into the lock beneath the chain. Turn it to the right until you hear it click. Slowly. And do not take the key out before you pull the chain. Otherwise, Fezgar is skewered like a tasty pig. Tell you? So you can leave me here to die? Your new friend Fezgar was not born yesterday, Walker. I will tell you, only that the jewel is hidden safe in a lockbox on a high cliff. You will not find it without my help. Now, free Fezgar, please. Steady hands, friend. I'll just be right over here. Free at last! Thank you both. Now, all this key finding and practice arming is hard work, yes? You've earned a rest, I think. I do face little. Should have seen that coming, Jakarn. Sneaky little bastard. Where did he even hide that gas bomb? Ooh, you know what? Let's not think about that. Friend. Right. I hate to admit it, but good old Fez is sliding rapidly toward dopey rival. Sometimes colleague at best. Ugh, anyway, Fez grew up in the Stitches, cliffside settlement above the Scar. He might have hidden the gem there. Exactly. It fits. Still, the Stitches is a big place, and he's got a head start. Fortunately for us, Akon and these bandits did a number on his legs. He hobbled out of here like an 80-year-old stork. If we move fast, we might catch him. We should split up. Famous last words, right? Whoever finds that sneaky Khajiit first holds him down until the other arrives. Then we all find the gem together, yeah? Mara's mercy. I'm starting to talk like a cat. I've been in elsewhere too long. See you there, good looking. Listen to me, Fez. That jewel's made you crazy. No one can make that jump. You lie! But the smiles on me, Jakan. It is glory. All will belong to Fezgar! Fez! Damn it, don't do this! Stop! Fez! God damn it, Fez, you idiot! Why did. Wait. It's not that far. Oh yeah, I can make that. Definitely. You see it? The Jewel of Bondar is right there on that cliff. 
right where Fez dropped it for safekeeping. It's not that far. Not really. Sure, but he was injured, and not half as athletic as me. Akon worked him over, and the wind wasn't right. Besides, he was never a good jumper. That jewel will make me... us... rich. Like royalty. Wealthy, irresistible royalty. Look, it's so close. You don't know anything. Larissa would want this. She'd tell me to... She'd tell me I'm an idiot. Mara's mercy, what am I doing? Why would I jump off a cliff? Wow, is this a bad idea? I really need a drink. You need a drink, right? I need a drink. Meet me at the Goiter's Gulp, would you? We'll settle up there. Don't worry, I'm not gonna jump. I just need to clear my head. Well, look at this, Akon. It's just who we were waiting for. So, we meet again, Walker. I see you, but not your friends. Where are Jakarn and that mangy idiot, Fezgar? Truly? Dark moons, eh? Fez was stubborn and foolish, but he did not deserve to die. This may surprise you. But I did not want Vescar dead, just soundly punished. Seems I was right about the jewel after all. I warned you before, there is a hex on the jewel. I do not usually place much stock in folktales, but the clan mothers say Bandar created this gem to teach the Khajiit that some prizes are not worth the risk. Lesson learned, I'd say. With greed, yes. Perhaps I made a mistake in sending young Fesgar to recover it. Perhaps I made a mistake in sending that sweet-tongued Breton as his partner. Let's find out, shall we? Hello, Jakar. Well, this is... awkward. No tricks this time. One way or the other, I need to settle things with Tuheba. Otherwise, I'll never have any peace. Take this for your trouble, huh? Assuming Tuheba doesn't kill me, you should join us for drinks. Thanks again, good looking. So, here we are, Tuheba. Ready to clear the air, or should I start throwing Please, stuff? Jakar. All I want is the gem. Now, I will ask you one last time. Where is the jewel of Banda? I'll take you to it. Just promise me you'll feed it to your cat, or toss it in a vault or something. You have my word. Look at us, making nice. This calls for a toast. Suggestions? To bold, foolish Veskar, I think. A Khajiit who died as he lived. <laughs> yeah. To Fez. Start! Do something! <laughs> 